Thanks. Uh, well, Toronto Comic Con has been fantastic. It's uh, a little less hectic than, of course, Fan Expo, which is uh, typically in August. Uh, these Comic Cons that occur in March are smaller in scale, but the passion is still here. And there's some uh, nice moments here with uh, families with young kids and uh, I'm a father and uh, I see the joy of uh, dressing up and running around or meeting a stormtrooper. Uh, very exciting. You know, we had Darth Vader here as well. and uh, So see the kids freaking out, that's always a nice feeling as well. I try to come to, you know, two or three a year. Um, it's just a great way to meet the fans and uh, to really get a chance to talk to them and see what they like and don't like about whatever project you're working on. Um, and, uh, you know, if I can do the ones in Canada, I really, I really try to. Obviously, I'm Canadian. But it's nice to have an event where it's all about the fans and the artists and exchanging ideas and celebrating our passion for all things genre, sci-fi, and fantasy. It's like a fun retail to come out, sell. You don't hear a lot of conversations about the Dagobah system in your regular day-to-day -day life. You can get pretty much anything you like nerd-wise. Uh, at our booth, we sell comics new that just came uh, out in the last few months. Back to the 40s, we have all kinds of vintage stuff. You meet new customers that can become regulars. Uh, you're able to sell lots of inventory, some clearance stuff if you want to move stuff out. More expensive stuff, people come here looking for more expensive things, so that's also a good thing. Reasons it's named Fan Expo is because of that. The fans are the community that we serve. They tell us what they want, who they want to see, what celebrities they want to meet, and we try to respond to that the best we can. And over the years, we find that it's kind of diversified in, in what people want to do. I think it's really good that, that Toronto's taking a big part in the in the Comic Con sort of realm. You know, it, it gives an outlet, gives an opportunity for a lot of people that are fans of different genres, whether they be sci-fi or or comic books to come out, get some stuff which perhaps they haven't normally got, uh, be able to meet some of their heroes, or at least people dress as their heroes, and uh, just have a good time. The fans of Doctor Who are, wow, ridiculously, amazingly passionate about what they do. I didn't get into sci-fi until I was cast in Smallville, um, and uh, that's sort of when I got into the genre and started to understand it. It's great when you see people in costumes that are obscure, but you know what they are. And those little attentions to detail that you're like, ah, oh, that's slick. Or the abstract conceptual ones that, uh, you know, you make you work for it. Like, oh, I get what it is now. I can't think of an example, but I love those. we got to say it was a success, and uh, we're looking for bigger, better things in the future. <laughs>